Another awesome feature of Copilot is the fact that you can generate summaries of videos from YouTube and from Vimeo. On the right hand side where it says Copilot, it already gives us the button of generate highlights from the video in Microsoft Edge. And you can see here, it's told us it's a 13 minute, 23 second video. It's given us a overview of who uh, Marquez Brownlee is, also known as MKBHD. And then it walks us through and it gives us a breakdown and a summary of that video. In today's video, I wanna teach you all the different ways that you can use and utilize the free version of Copilot that comes installed in Windows 11. Copilot is Microsoft's big bet at the moment and you are seeing it pop up everywhere. I find that the free version actually is really, really powerful. So in today's video, I wanna show you how you can best utilize this tool. Of course, if you have your own ideas that I didn't cover in today's video, I'd love to see them in the comment section down below. And with that being said, let's get into this. So we are on my Windows 11 computer here. And the first question you may have is, well, hey, how do I access Copilot? If you don't have Copilot installed on your Windows 11 computer right now, all we have to do is make sure you have it updated to the latest version. I'll teach you how to update your computer just in case you don't know how to do this. But if you do know, skip ahead into the tutorial. To update your computer, the easiest way is pressing the start button, typing in the word update, and then selecting on check for updates. This is gonna bring you to your system settings. And then from here, just simply run your Windows update and make sure you have the most up-to-date version of Windows 11 on your computer. Uh, just make sure you press this button here, check for updates, and it will eventually roll down to your PC. Now let's move on and let's imagine that it is installed on your computer. What I've done is I've actually created a little checklist of what we're gonna go through today. And I'm gonna swipe these through uh, every time we go through one of them. I'm just gonna strike it through to make sure that we cover everything off. So the first thing I wanna cover is accessing Copilot on Windows 11. And there are three ways I'm gonna show you how to do this. The first one is of course, pressing the Copilot button in the taskbar. This could live right now next to your start button, or it may have moved into the right hand corner of your taskbar. But the first way of accessing it is simply pressing on the Copilot button, and this will pop up on the right hand side of your screen. The second way of accessing it is using the Windows shortcut, Windows and C, and that's a keyboard shortcut to bring up that same menu. The third way is using the Copilot key on your computer. If your computer is a newer PC, it may have a button that is dedicated to Copilot on it. If you have an older computer that doesn't have this button, I've also learned how to remap it and I'll link that video in the description down below. So I can press one button on my computer and it pulls up this menu as well. Uh, but there's a few different ways for you to access it. I find the easiest way is of course, either using Windows and C or remapping your Copilot key. Now that we know how to access Copilot, let's learn how we can navigate Copilot as well. The pane here is really quite simple, but there's a lot to it. In the top corner, you actually have the ability to open up in Microsoft Edge. You can refresh the entire page or you can go into more settings here. You can even find the Copilot notebook that I'm not gonna cover in this video. Next to that, you have the button here to choose to dock it in your window or not. Uh, I like to leave this option turned on. Uh, so I would leave it turned on as it is right now. I'll show what that looks like when it's turned off as well though. Uh, and then underneath you can see your plugins. Right now there's six different plugins which we're gonna go through later on. And then of course there is your chat history too to go back and see all the different chats that you've had. So let's go back. Underneath here you have a few prompts and ideas that you can have a look at in your own time. It gives you a few suggestions in ways you can work with and talk with Copilot. And then you can choose the conversation style as well from creative, balanced to fast. Then underneath that, you have the option to start a new topic. Then you've got your chat section where you can type in and say, hi, ask it a question. You can also use the microphone to talk into Copilot if you don't want to use your keyboard. And then you can also add in things like images and screenshots. So that's the basics of using and navigating Copilot. I'm gonna go ahead and strike that one out as well. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start a brand new topic. So the first thing I'm gonna do is say, use a microphone. Now that I've selected use a microphone, I'm gonna tell Copilot to tell me the top 10 things I can do using the free version of Copilot in Windows 11. Certainly. Uh, Copilot. Microsoft Copilot, the AI powered chatbot, offers a range of capabilities to enhance your productivity and creativity on Windows 11. I'm Here are 10 things you can do. Out loud. But what you saw there was because I spoke into it, it actually dictated and spoke the answers back to me as well. Uh, and here is a quick list of some of the things we are gonna go through. But if you don't wanna type into it all the time, 
that dictate button or the microphone option is really handy. It is great to just talk into your computer. Um, one thing it does talk about is the ability to change system settings. And we're going to go through that right now. I'm going to give you two examples of this. I'm actually going to tell it to turn off dark mode. And this is actually addressing and accessing the settings of your computer. And it's going to say, do you want to turn off dark mode? I'm going to say yes. And my computer is just switched from light to dark mode. It can't do everything uh, in terms of the settings on your computer, but it does get more and more settings uh, as they develop this, this copilot. Um, you can do other things like, I actually found a really good one was accessing uh, Bluetooth as well as doing things like troubleshooting. Um, or even if you say add a Bluetooth device, I say add a Bluetooth device and it automatically opened up my settings here where I've got the button to add a Bluetooth device. So it just saves me a few extra clicks uh, and this will get better and better uh, the more we use or the more Copilot does develop. Um, so what we did there was looking at input methods as well as adjusting Windows settings. I'm going to leave input methods open because there's a few more things I'm going to walk you through, but hopefully you are getting some value in this video already. What I've done now is I've just launched into Edge and I've grabbed a few landmark photos and I'm going to open up a photo of the Sydney Opera House. I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy that image and then I'm going to paste it into Copilot and I'm going to ask it, where is this photo taken and how do you know it? Copilot's going to start assessing and analyzing that image and it's gonna start pulling information and telling me where it thinks that image is taken and give me some reasons as to why it thinks it's taken from where it is. So in a couple of seconds, it's analyzed the photo and it's told me that the photo was taken in the Sydney Opera House and then it just said Sydney Opera House location. If I jump over to landmarks, I'm gonna grab a photo here of, let's say, Coliseum. Uh, I don't know why there was a little glitch there, um, but you can see it gave us a bit more information around why and how it knows that this photo is the Sydney Opera House, the location, and then it gives us a few more links to learn more. And this allows us to interact uh, with Copilot and ask it questions. Um, it's also realized that this photo here is a photo of the Colosseum in Rome. And then it gives us prompts down the bottom to ask more information about whatever that image is. Uh, so it's really quite cool that you can do image searches within a couple of quick seconds. You don't always have to copy and paste it. Down the bottom of Copilot, there's actually the option to add an image or even take a screenshot. Uh, I'm gonna show you the screenshot button. So I think this is kind of cool. If I select on this, I can choose an area that I wanna screenshot. So I'm gonna grab that. And then I get this little icon here that allows me to um, start drawing or adding an arrow over it. I can change the colors of those arrows. I can add a circle, something here. Uh, I can add a square around it. If I wanted to, I could add some text. Uh, let's just start typing in. I'm gonna say text here. This is using Copilot. And then maybe hit the mosaic feature. I'm not sure what this does actually. Oh, that's cool that it allows me to blur out sections of that photo. Uh, and then of course you can undo it. You can download that photo, you can cancel, or you can just say done. And then that will take a, a copy of that screenshot. Uh, but it's a very cool feature where you can actually then analyze and edit something in Copilot by using the button here. And then you can ask it about um, that screenshot that you've taken. And that mosaic feature allows you to blur out things like maybe someone's face. Uh, I am going to hit on the button of new topic now, uh, but I'm going to also jump back to our sticky notes and I'm going to get rid of the image search and say that we've done that. And I think by now we've covered off the input methods too. Another awesome feature of Copilot is the fact that you can generate summaries of videos from YouTube and from Vimeo. So I'm going to cross this one out. Uh, and what you'll see here is that it knows that we've opened up a YouTube video on the right hand side where it says Copilot it already gives us the button of generate highlights from the video in Microsoft Edge. I'm simply gonna select on this because it is contextually aware. And then it is going to start looking at MKBHD's video of do bad reviews kill companies. And it is gonna generate a video or generate a summary of that video for us. And you can see here, it's told us it's a 13 minute, 23 second video. It's given us a overview of who uh, Marquez Brownlee is, also known as MKBHD. 
and then it walks us through and it gives us a breakdown and a summary of that video. Sorry, I moved the mouse there. Um, but you can see in a couple of seconds, it has given us a quick summary of his 13 minute video, which is crazy, it's unreal. The way it does this is by actually looking at the transcripts or the text file of that YouTube video and creates a summary from it. But what you saw was in a couple of seconds, it's given us a great overview of this video by MKBHD. Um, and I can tell you that some of the dot points here, like it really just hits it, um, you know, it pulls out the examples from Isco, uh, Fisker Ocean and Human AI. Uh, and within a couple of seconds, we have a full summary of, of his video. Uh, so I think that's a very cool feature and I've already highlighted and crossed that one out. So like I said, we are going to do two things right now, which is summarize a web page and of course, uh, have a discussion with Copilot about that web page. I'm going to hit the new topic button just so we can start fresh. And I am um, automatically, again, it becomes contextually aware. And it says, do you want to summarize the page in Microsoft Edge? And do you want to suggest questions to ask about the document in Edge? Uh, I'm going to say straight away, summarize the page in Edge. It gives me a warning about the conversation uh, may not have public info. So it's not going to save it after this point. Uh, but within a few seconds, it starts to generate a summary of the page that I'm on is, which Google Pixel phone should you buy? Uh, and as we scroll down, you see it's a pretty lengthy article. There's uh, a bit of advertising in here, which will skew what we get. Um, but Copilot's going to pop up in a couple of seconds, and it's given us a quick overview of, of this page of which Pixel you should buy. You can go ahead and then you can ask it. It gives you prompts like, what are the standout features? How do the cameras compare? All that sort of stuff. So the cool thing about Copilot is that you can ask it questions about the information that it's giving you. Um, and then it's saying, hey, given your budget, well, I recommend 500 bucks, get the Pixel 6a because of the reasons X, Y, and Z. Um, you can also tell it to, uh, if you wanted information pulled straight from the page, you can go answer from this page instead. And right now, uh, it's also given me a list of some of the telcos around me that I can go ahead and go in and buy that phone. The next thing we're going to do is get a little bit more creative with Copilot. So I've selected on the new topic button. And I've also selected on the creative option here as well. Copilot has a couple of different plugins that I said we we're going to go through and we're going to turn one of these on right now by selecting on the plugin option in the top right hand corner. And we're going to scroll down and turn on the option of Suno, which is basically a songwriting tool. So I'm going to turn Suno on. I'm going to go back to our chats. And this is going to use Suno um, to start generating a song about a bunny in the forest looking for his friends. Uh, you see here it says using and it's got the Suno logo on here. Remember you have to turn this on. It has just created the verse for us and now it is starting to populate the, uh, the song too. So the verse is here and now it's saying lyrics are ready. One more step and it's going to give us the audio too. Oh. So the tree's bunny in the forest feeling so at ease Looking left, looking right, where could That song was never written before, no one actually sung that song uh, But you can see within a couple of seconds we gave it a simple prompt And it has created a one minute song for us And then we can go ahead, it's got some prompts here, that's adorable, can you add another verse? If you wanted to download that song from this Copilot section right now, even if you right click, there's no uh, ability to download it. What you do have to do is select on the pop out window open in Microsoft Edge. This is going to take you to Copilot on Edge. And then you're going to have to select on your Bunny Forest Adventure. It will load it uh, within a couple of seconds. And then from here, you get the download button to download your song. So that is an extra step of opening up Copilot in Edge and then hitting the download button to download your song. But still, even with that extra step or two, what an awesome feature. Uh, I'm gonna pull up our little list here. We're gonna get rid of creating a song because we've just done that. And now we're going to generate an image. We're gonna generate a cover photo uh, for that song. So I'm gonna grab our song uh, about a bunny in the forest looking for his friends. And I'm gonna write, create a Create a thumbnail uh, for a song titled, for a song, sorry, about 
a bunny looking for his friends in the forest. Uh, make it cute and playful with a cartoon style. Actually, I'm going to say realistic style. And again, I've got it on the creative button, so it should be a little bit more creative than if it were on balanced or precise. But you see Copilot is saying, I'm going to start to create that. It's going to load here. And you'll see this is powered by uh, Microsoft Designer, which is powered by DALI 3. And it's loading and generating some of those images for us. Where we've got those images of that realistic style bunny looking for his friends in the forest. We can go ahead and we can select on the photo if we wanted to edit it, um, or we could add some extra um, options like make, can you add sunlight, sunlight around the filter? So you can give it prompts to change the photos and we can also open it up and edit it as well, which I'll show you in a second. So you can see here, it's got some of that sunlight coming through. I'm gonna select on one of these photos which is gonna open up in Microsoft Edge. It's gonna take us to the designer. I'm gonna close Copilot for now. And then from here, I can choose to share, save, download, or even customize that image as well. If you customize it, that will bring you into Microsoft Designer where you can continue editing that image. But that is really easy, but it's super powerful as well. I'm gonna cross this one off. And the last thing I wanna leave you with today using Microsoft Copilot, which is completely free on Windows 11, is the ability to open an app. Super simple, but I'm gonna press on the Copilot key. I'm gonna tell it to open up PowerPoint. I could have turned this into a new, uh, new window or not, but it's gonna say, do you wanna open up PowerPoint? I'm gonna say yes. And then it's gonna start launching Microsoft PowerPoint as well. And there you guys have it. Those are some of the amazing ways that you can use the free version of Microsoft Copilot built into Windows 11. If you like this video, let me know in the comment section down below. If you have other tips and tricks on how you can use Copilot, I'd love to read those as well. Of course, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. In the wild, where the trees sway, there's a fox gay.